Right, so somehow the camera got turned off there. I don't know how far in or whatever, but uh, it just turned off while I was doing something. But um, what happened was he he, uh, he did the same thing again. I'm not too sure if I've got it on camera or not, but he did the same thing again there. Was he got a little bit overexcited and then he just tried to mount Kai. So again, I've just grabbed the lead and I'm just going to hold him to my side again until he's calm. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm just removing his freedom. And just what this does is it just tells him that what I say goes or you, or you don't get no freedom. And again, this is just exerting my dominance over him, telling him that, telling him that I'm the pack leader and you have to obey. And if you don't, you will be punished. And it's, it's, it's not a bad thing to do. You need to... You need to give the dog boundaries, and uh, at the moment, uh, his boundary is very, very wide when it comes to discipline. It's very, very wide. He seems to think he could do whatever he wants without any, um, how can you put, um, without any comeuppance, and just need to rein that in a little bit, I think. And this is the only way that you're going to be able to do it. Uh, obviously, obviously, because he's an only dog, it's quite difficult to do this on your own. Because if you go somewhere and uh, walk him and try and do this, obviously there's no other dogs around. So you have to wait for someone with their dog. And then it can get quite stressful because sometimes... Well, nine times out of ten, that owner's going to start shouting and screaming at you. So it is always good to try and do this with a pack. And uh, just teach him that, he, you know, he's not in control here. But, uh, again, I'm just going to let him go. And... Again, if he starts misbehaving, if he starts trying to mount Kai again, we're just going to grab the lead again and just keep doing this over and over again until he gets it. And what it is, 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 is patience and persistence. The more you do it, the, uh, the more inclined he is to behave. And the patience part of it is just not getting stressed out, not getting annoyed. Just keeping your calm, keeping yourself on a balanced, um, keeping all your emotions balanced. And uh, the more balanced you are, the more balanced doggy will be. So we're just going to give him a chance. And we'll see where we are. Right. Hey, behave. Behave. Good boy, Archie. Well done. No. No. Again, it's, it's all about getting the right command in at the right time. Um, if you offer him praise for doing nothing, then he just expects it all the time. And then the praise just becomes obsolete. It means absolutely nothing to him. But um, if, like I do, you use the praise uh, as a reward, it actually means something to him. Here! This way! 
This way. Good boy, well done. Well done, good lad. No. Yeah, dog training, it's all about simplicity, it really is. It's, it is very simple, it's just, as people we make it more difficult than what it really is. And a lot of the time it's because we get our commands, we get them wrong. We tell him good in the wrong places and we tell him off in the wrong places. Right, so this guy's here with his dog. So we're going to head towards them. Hey, you all right there? Right this way. This way. Hey. Hey, this way. Come on. Good boy, well done, good boy. So again, I'm just using the sheepdog call. If I was to have used his name there, there would have been no listening, no listening whatsoever. But because I'm using a call that he's not used to, and I'm using such a firm voice, and I'm holding my emotions and keeping balance, he's actually listening to me. Really well behaved there. Come on, this way. So right at the beginning, I don't know if you, you probably didn't hear it, but he started to growl and I called it. I just gave it a hey and he stopped instantly. <coughs> so again, there's progress there. But this is something that needs to be drilled home with him. And uh, it's all about the call. It's all about how you call the dog and in what tone you use. Because if you use too weak a calls with him, like I hear it all the time, people talk to their dogs like their children, like, hey baby, here, hi, da da da, all that rubbish, it don't do nothing. What you're teaching your dog there is excitement. <coughs> it just completely confuses doggy. No! And uh, it just shows the dog that you're weak. But um, if you're more dominant with the dog, uh, they respect you a lot more. No. So uh, yeah, that's that's something also that you guys need to work on a bit, I think. Because uh, I have heard um, the way that you guys talk to... Well, I heard how Emma, you talk to Archie. And uh, that ex over-excited tone is just... It just shows weakness. And uh, you just need to add a little bit of dominance to, to your tone. And the way that you speak to him. It's not cruel. Don't ever think that raising your voice to the dog is cruel. Because... All you're doing by raising your voice is telling the dog you're the alpha. If you watch pack mentality, especially with wolves, wolves do it all the time. The alpha um, exerts his dominance by being aggressive. 
and they they sort of snap and bark and growl at other males but as a human being we do the same thing but we use our tone and our words it's not really your words though it's, it's, um, it's, it's not calling them by their name so much because the doggy associates its name with weakness good boys hey biggie biggie's going to town with kai there you're right guys no no No! Yeah, so uh, you can see it's working. You can, you can see everything I'm doing is working. And I think this just proves that he's lacking this in his home life, he's lacking leadership. Now I did think this for a couple of weeks, but I, it, like it's, it is sometimes quite hard to identify because I don't walk Archie with his family, so it's hard to identify. But um, I have noticed that um, overuse of his, of Doggy's name. and he has become sort of immune to it. If I was to call him by his name, he wouldn't listen. Like, Archie! Archie! Okay, so he does listen. Hmm? Okay, so... Hey! No! 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 Oi! Come here! Here! Right, so there, what I've witnessed right there is possessive, he's got a possessive problem there, possession problem. And this is, all it is is a stick. Chase has found a stick, and because Archie wants it, he's, he's getting all emotional about it, like, to take it off him and he took it off him and then just dropped it and walked away it's like you can't have it i want it but now i don't want it he just doesn't want other dogs to have something that he doesn't have and that is also a problem that possessive um anxiety there can also lead to um aggressive because as, as you saw there he started barking and sort of sort of growling a little bit there because Kai had a st uh, because Chase had a stick. So again, we just hold on to him, because that oh biggie. <laughs> hey, no, no, naughty. Naughty. So it is two steps forward and one back every time, but this is something that you that happens with dogs every minute of the day. It is always like this, and this is why I say it's an ongoing process. You have to be prepared to do this two steps forward and one back every single minute of the day with a dog. But the more you address it, um, after a while, it will just it will just fade away. But um, if you don't address it, it just becomes more and more of a problem. So it's best to catch it very early and just deal with it there and then. Otherwise, if you leave it, it can take months, if not years, to correct otherwise. 
So it's something that needs to be addressed as soon as it happens. As soon as it happens. But again, we just stop that problem by just pulling him out of the situation, holding on to his lead. He does realise, he does know. And we'll just hold on to the lead for another 10 minutes or so, and then we'll just let him go again. But uh, again, I'm just going to put the camera down for a little while. I'm, all, I'm on one bar already, so I'm not too sure how much more filming I'm going to be able to get today. But um, uh, we'll, we'll just see, see how we go. Wait.